my name is Blake. Welcome to a new vlog. Today's Thursday. It's 1.30 right now. I feel like I just woke up and I blinked and it's 1.30. The days are going by so fast for me lately. Does anyone else feel like that? Like the end of summer specifically, I always feel like the days and the weeks just fly by and I never have any idea what day it is. <laughs> it's Thursday. Um, John and I leave tomorrow for Labor Day weekend and I'm very excited but I'm so unprepared. I have like mountains of laundry to do and I know he does too so we're gonna be like fighting for the <laughs> laundry later. Um, we both have to like finish up a bunch of work today. He is at a shoot right now so I'm just home by myself getting some work done. Today is just kind of a catch-up day, prep for the weekend kind of day, just kind of trying to get everything in order. I also have to get my nails done today because they're very overgrown and gross. And I kind of hate making nail appointments because they take so long and I hate wasting my time doing that, but I just know I'm gonna regret it if I don't get them done because they look so bad. So I think I'm gonna go do that soon so I can get it over with and then just work the rest of the day. And we have to run later, but yeah, that's pretty much the plan for today. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna get back to work now and then go get my nails done soon. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get rid of these overgrown nails. This is them. The color's cute, but they're very overgrown. Are we ready for the reveal? The new nails. Stunning. I'm obsessed. I got bubble bath, which is what I was getting for like weeks and weeks and weeks in a row, probably months in a row. And I don't remember what I got last time. It was a mix of two, but I felt like I needed a little more color. So we went with pink. I mean, this is still very neutral, but <laughs> more color than just like white, you know? I also got bubble bath on my toes. I do a gel bubble bath on my toes and dip bubble bath on my fingers. All right, we are gonna, I'm doing some laundry right now and we need to go on a run and then we need to pack. So I will see you in the morning when we are on our way. We just got here. Our little house is so cute. We're staying at a Nantucket Rentals property. This is what you see when you walk in. Cute little living space. Bathrooms over there. Here's the kitchen. This is so adorable. I love these open shelves. And then our bedroom is up here. This is so cute. There's literally nothing up there but a bed, so I'm not gonna go up there. I'll but... do it for <laughs> Give some commentary. No, oh, say hi. segment we're gonna go get some lunch it's 1 15 um and we're hungry i think i'm gonna change first we have to somehow try to get our bags up there or we can leave them down here a or, we little can, or we can leave them down here around here yeah. and like the mirror and bathroom we're gonna get right oh around. true we're gonna change walk around we're like a 25 minute walk from town uh, and we have a rental car that we're getting. We like decided on the way here that we wanted to rent a car. Um, we're getting that tomorrow. So we're just gonna walk to town and walk around today and probably just have a relaxed day. <laughs> we just went to corner table and got some lattes. We went to the tavern before and got lunch. We also went to the bookstore. It's very relaxing and quiet here today, so we're just taking advantage of that and having a peaceful day. We're heading back to the rental right now. Honestly, because we're just feeling a little lazy. So I might just... <laughs> Why'd you pan to me right on lazy? What the you heck? said I could go back and lay. <laughs> 
That's crazy. And I agreed. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I think we're just gonna go chill for a bit. We just went to the grocery store. Yeah, I wanna give them a little haul. Shampoo, <laughs> body wash. I got a couple of yogurts. The so delicious dairy-free strawberry. A little Bob's Red Mill oatmeal. These are so good. Harvest snaps, the baked red lentil snacks. Best waters in the game. Wait, actually, yeah, let me know what your favorite water is because mine is smart water. I love it. John loves Essentia. Sweet and spicy chili rice crisps. Protein bars. We're both doing like little chicken nugget <laughs> slash chicken cutlet sandwiches for dinner, just keeping it easy. John got real chicken, obviously. I got the uh, Jack and Annie's plant-based crispy nuggets. We're gonna make dinner and then watch the ultimatum. I like am a sucker for bad reality TV. I love Love Island. I love Too Hot to Handle. I haven't watched The Bachelor in years, honestly, but I will still stand by the fact that I do love it. But yeah, we just started watching The Ultimatum. I've seen one season or a couple episodes of it in the past, and I thought it was like the most, like just like the worst concept for a show. But we watched this new season, and there's so many just like wild characters in it that we actually liked it. So we're gonna watch, we're gonna finish it tonight. The oven didn't do anything. <laughs> These are still very much cold. So we're gonna just cook them on the stove. Hopefully we're not jump cutting to more cold chicken. <laughs> it's giving freshman year of college dinner. Why is this the funniest meal I've ever eaten? <laughs> Look at my stacked Yeah, you've got double decker nuggets. <laughs> it's not always health and wellness around here, okay? This is health and wellness. Health and wellness is balance, right? Balance. Okay, so we're watching the finale of The Ultimatum. It's terrible. Please tell me if you've watched this because I wanted, what's that guy's name? Ryan and the guy, guy she was flirting with. Trey. I wanted Ryan and Trey. Okay, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Skip this. I wanted Ryan and Trey to decide that they wanted to be together. But they both got engaged to the people they showed up with that like didn't, that like took them for granted. You know, I'm not into it. This is like the most boring season finale of any show ever. Maybe there'll be a huge dramatic turn, but I'm not into it right now. <laughs> Are you? No, it's kind of uneventful. It's so uneventful. We're here for- They're all just getting engaged. Yeah. Boring. Boring. <laughs> John is filming me behind my camera with his big camera. That lens is massive. We just went on our long Saturday run. Are you proud of me? Yeah, you did pretty good. I'm very proud of you. Pretty good? No, you did good, you did good. Why only pretty good? No, you did great. Last run we did was eight miles. The last long run we did was eight miles. Last Saturday around Lake Winnipesaukee. And it was so hilly. Like, the elevation changes were insane, like steep hills the entire time. And my pace was 10.45, 10 which made me feel so bad about myself because I've been running faster. And I had to stop a couple times on that run. Didn't stop once on this run. And it was nine miles and I ran it at 9.44. I'm proud of myself, except this rude man screamed at me. I was running down a road and I didn't see any sidewalks. So I was running on the grass, not even in the street. He pulls over in his bright red truck and screams, Hey! He goes, Get the F on the bike path, idiot! And I was like, No, I didn't even see it. At that point, the, when I hear bike path, I'm thinking, like, if you were to run on a bike path in Europe, a bike would run you down. Like, I don't think of bike path and running. Like, you run on the sidewalk, you bike on the bike path. But there was a very big bike path that was also for runners, but it was like behind a bunch of trees. I didn't even see it. I don't like confrontation, so I wanted to cry. <laughs> I think we're gonna, we might go to something natural. If you've been to Nantucket, you know it's just the best sandwiches. John hasn't been there and you love a sandwich, so. He's gotta, he's gotta try it. We 
just got some lattes. We went to Handlebar. <sighs> what do you like better, the one you got today or yesterday? I mean, they were different. I got like a dessert yesterday. Today I got just plain coffee. I think Handlebar has my favorite matcha. Lemon press like has so many fun flavors and I like the vibe of Corner Table, but their matcha is not very good. Handlebar is very good. Except they wrote the name Luke on John's and the name Lake on mine. <laughs> I always get Blay when I tell people my name for orders, like B-L-A-E, but I got Lake this time. Good morning, happy Sunday. We're gonna head to Sconset in a minute. We just got ready for the day. We're gonna go get some coffee, breakfast, walk around there for a little. It's my favorite neighborhood in Nantucket. I have to go every single time I'm here. It's so cute. So we're gonna go walk around there. And that's like our only plan for the day. I'm not sure what we're gonna do after, but it's so nice and sunny right now. I think it's gonna be a beautiful day, so. Oh, you're say. coming back? <laughs> What's the last thing I vlogged? Maybe Sconset in the morning? Oh yeah, we went to Sconset this morning. And then we just like walked around for what feels like hours. We went back home, had some leftover sushi that we got for dinner last night. And then we just went to... Back to Sconset. Back to Sconset. Summer House, is that what it's called? The. The Summer House. Um, some of our friends, a bunch of our friends were there. So we went there. I think we're gonna go to Lemon Press. You might like get actual food there too. I didn't even know they did dinner, but. You ready? Mm hmm. You're still buckled. Yeah, I'm being <laughs> Last time I got John a smoothie here. His first time to Nantucket. Last time I vlogged, I got him a smoothie. John loves like peanut butter and he loves berries and protein in his smoothies. And when, he, when we picked him up from the ferry, I went to Lemon Press first and I got him their PB&J smoothie because it's like peanut butter, protein, berries. And he takes a sip of it and he's like, oh my God, this just tastes like a PB&J, like a legit sandwich. Like a whole blended up sandwich. And hours later, we're at our uh, rental. Hours later, I come downstairs, it's full smoothie still sitting on the counter. And I was like, he, I've never seen John hate a smoothie. He hated it. So now we know he doesn't like that smoothie, but we're gonna, you're gonna yeah, try, we'll try a new one. You're gonna try a new one. <laughs> That's the update on our day. Bye. Good. We're heading to Lemon Press right now to get some smoothies because we didn't get any last night because they, we got dinner there, but they were not open. When I wear these glasses, I can't even see the screen. <laughs> like, I can't see if I'm in frame or not. Here's what I'm wearing today. I have no idea where these little white shorts are from. I got them at a very random boutique in Newport. And then this is from Vineyard Vines, I think. Rebox. My Nisola bag, my Randolph sunglasses. We leave today and we have a lot of cleaning to do here. We both got the honey pot smoothie. John got cold brew in his though. I got protein in mine. Oh really? Mm -hmm. It's banana, honey, peanut butter, almond milk. I should have got protein Protein. Too. Cold brew. So good. It is stunning out this morning. Where did you go? Wait, what? Why did you get this for me? What the heck? So cute. Thank you. You guys, look at this cute cup John got me. We were standing in line at Lemon Press. No, we ordered our stuff from Lemon Press. When we were waiting outside for our smoothies, John was like, I have to go run an errand. And he left and wouldn't tell me where he was going, so I checked his location. And his location was turned off. And I was like, where the heck is he going? It's so sneaky. And he came back five minutes later with this. We went to Corner Table Cafe the other day, and I really wanted one of these cups. I just didn't get one. He went and caught me one and it's so cute. It's so cute. Is that not the most adorable thing ever? Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to drink 
Matcha out of this. <laughs> Tuesday. We got back yesterday from Nantucket and I have basically spent most of today cleaning, doing some laundry. I forgot to switch my laundry. That just reminded me I have to do that. Um, and just catching up on some work things. I just made a matcha in this cute little cup that John got me on Nantucket. I don't know where this day has gone. <laughs> it's like flying by. I feel like getting back from a few days away makes me feel so like discombobulated. I'm all over the place just trying to get back into routine. I have a lot of editing I have to get done. I have to prep. I have um, a photo shoot with um, a brand I'm working with all day tomorrow and all day on Thursday. So I won't be home pretty much all day. So I'm trying to prep for that today too. So today is kind of sneaking away for me. I made this uh, Thai peanut bread curry last week. It's from the blog, theendlessmeal.com. Normally I would eat this with rice, but I just don't have any prepped and I don't want to make any. So I'm kind of just eating it as a soup, but it's so good. I also added shrimp to it. Mm -hmm. 